You made him an iron pillar. This is awesome. He said he made him also brazen walls. Now walls are upright structures. Watch this. I, I gotta really break this one out. It's a group of connecting upright structures made out of wood or stone used to fortify. Y'all don't hear me. Used to fortify. What did I tell y'all a couple of weeks ago? Fortify yourself. That means to lock yourself in and keep everything else out. Yeah. We in a season now where we need to fortify the same. Y'all yeah. don't hear me. We need to keep certain things out. We don't need to get no place. We don't need to get no position to our adversary. I got to show you this here. Watch this. Let me finish up here. And fortify and to defend against the enemy's attacks. That's the purpose of war. That's what they do. They keep the enemy from being able to attack us. Now, this is what I really come to preach. I could have bypassed all of that. I come to preach this. David, the scripture said, and they shall fight against you. Now, he tells them who going to fight it. He said, kings, the kings of Judah, Jeremiah, they're going to fight you. But you got to recognize this, that when he is saying this to him, we have to look at it in a spiritual perspective. He's saying kingdoms are governing spirits going to fight you. He talks about the princes thereof, regional spiritual authorities. They're going to fight you. He talks about the priests, religious spirits, traditional spirits. They're going to fight you. He talks about the people. Spirits in the inhabitants of an area. Yes. He said they're going to fight you. Whenever you see the word they shall, that's a promise from God. Woo! But look at somebody who says it's a fixed fight. Oh God, I feel like preaching now. The devil don't know that the fight been fixed. God fixed the fight. The reason he made you, he knew what you were going to have to come up against. And God said, if I don't put the right stuff in you, you're not going to be able to endure hardship like a good soldier. You're not going to be able to deal with it when kingdoms come against you. When you start fighting governing spirits, spirits that govern a whole territory. Y'all don't want me to preach like that. We got them right here in our region. Spirits that govern a whole territory. Watch this here, and you're going to have to come up against princes. So you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but yet principality. A lower rank of angels under a prince, a shot caller. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. They don't always have to get in you. Traditional church ain't going to teach you this. They don't have to get in you. All they got to do is be assigned to you, and they're going to fight you. They're going to make your life as hard as they possibly can. They got people in here right now going through stuff they don't understand. Dealing with stuff that's about to make them lose their mind. They have no revelation of why I'm going through this and why this happened at this time in my life and why this continues to come. Why is my son under attack like this? Why is my daughter under attack like this? Why is my marriage under attack like this? We have no revelation, but we have princes that have a sign. Watch, watch this here. That have a sign spirit to just fight up. That's why your money's funny and your chain strange. Because there's a devouring spirit that's a sign to deplete your finances, to keep you struggling, to keep you frustrated, to keep you downtrodden. So they know you won't praise God if you bound up. You ain't gonna lift up your hands if you bound up. You're not gonna shout if you bound up. So ain't no use to you coming to church because you all messed up with what you're dealing with because you got spirits that are assigned to you. But look at your neighbor and say, the devil got to lose you tonight. Glory to God. Oh, you ain't here. You said that like you was weak. Don't y'all let nobody sit on you. I mean, hear what I'm saying. Look at your other neighbor and tell him he got the loose up in here. Glory to God. There's no you get home. That's going to be some stuff released in your life. Released in your daughter life. Released in your marriage. The devil to mess with you long enough. The God should be with you now to tell you you was made for this. You were made to fight. You were made to get the sickness. You were made to come out of the top. You're not a loser, you a winner! Stuff assigned to me in my own house. That's why some folks ain't here to celebrate you tonight.
life. Look around. There's some folks in here. Folks supposed to love you. Folks to be your friends, your brothers and sisters in the law. They should at least send a representative. Why aren't they here? There are people two kinds in your life. It's those who tolerate you and those who celebrate you. There's some folk jealous of you because you got more than them. Because God favored you. Because you turn out halfway decent. My God, and it just eats them up. Because you and him are pap. Oh, they don't know what they talk about. I don't get saving them. They shouldn't even be in that place. Why you ain't got nothing? He would hold from over there. Walk upright. You ought to check out their law. That's the same women and men that used to drink their beer. That used to party. That used to do their stuff. But I bet you can't catch them doing it now. Because they found out that business is for living right. If you change the way you live it. God said I change what I'm giving. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God said I bless you with your law. Bless you with your soul. I make your enemies bless you. That's a part of ministry. Got some folk that don't like you, don't, don't care for you because you just started and you're doing better than them. You got more members than them and folks joining your church every Sunday. They don't understand you got a church ready. You got all of this favor. You got big numbers in the bank. They, they hate that. Come on, son. Because they looking at, I, I, I'll preach here. Come on, you got to have more. They just a preaching word. You gotta have a lifestyle that supports the word you preach. Come on, sir. Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, yes, sir. Look at your neighbor and say, You got to live what you preach. Let me tell you something. I, I just, I'm gonna go and get naked myself. Can I get naked? I had a young lady came in my office last night. And I'm, I'm going to preach. She said, Pastor Jones. She said, I got offered a job. But I got to work every other Sunday. What do you say? I say, in my spirit, I want to tell you no. Because that's not what I believe. But I'd be wrong to tell you no and let my wife work Sunday. I say, I could stop it. But it gotta be her will. Oh, I can stop it. I can say either or. So how? See, the righteous, the, the righteous thing to do was to treat both of them equal. Oh, ain't nobody saying nothing now. I say now what we gonna do is we gonna permit it today. But I'm going in the spirit now because I feel a whole lot of folk working on Sunday now. And it's has got on my nerve now. And I have a righteous anger rising up down on me inside of me. And I'm sick. I don't hear what I'm saying. See, because I see the plot. I see the plot. Time missed caused you to fall behind. Anybody ever went to college? Got sick and missed some classes? Come on, sir. You had to make them classes up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or you gonna be behind the class. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I stay on y'all about being in church because you, you don't realize what it is to be spiritual being. It's a hurting thing. Mother, can I sit by you? Let me sit right there. It's a hurting thing to be sitting here and, and your daughter's and son that I grew you. They are preaching and you see it all. It's a painful thing. And you're looking around and saying, Lord, what am I saying? But I can't catch up because I missed out on some classes that were detrimental to my destiny. See, that's something